Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're talking about the closely related topics of tennis racket weight, balance, and swing weight. Let's get started. The weight of a tennis racket typically ranges anywhere from 8 to 13 ounces. Depending on where you're looking, you may find the weight of a racket listed as unstrung or strung. Usually, the weight printed on a frame will be the unstrung weight. However, many retailers often list the strung weight since you won't use a racket without strings installed. It's worth noting that the weight of various strings can differ, so a website that lists a strung weight will assume an average weight for the strings, which may differ slightly from the strings you're using. All things being equal, a lighter racket will be easier to swing and maneuver, while a heavier racket will increase power. Of course, in the world of tennis rackets, it's rare for all things to be equal, which is where balance and swing weight come into play. Closely tied to racket weight is balance, or more specifically, how weight is distributed throughout the length of a frame. To help classify the balance for various tennis rackets, there are three categories, which include head heavy, head light, and equal balance. Head heavy rackets have weight distributed toward the head, while head light rackets have weight distributed toward the handle. Equal balance rackets on the other hand distribute weight evenly throughout. As a racket's balance point or weight shifts away from the handle toward the head of the racket, its power and spin potential increase, while maneuverability in the shock felt in your hand and arm decrease. As a result, balance provides manufacturers with an incredibly useful mechanism for changing the performance and feel of a racket without adding or subtracting weight. Balance is a measure of a racket's center of gravity, which is the point along the length of the frame where it balances horizontally, and is typically expressed in points or centimeters. Balance boards like this one from Dunlop are a popular tool for taking measurements. A racket is placed on the center of the balance board so that it rests on the balance bar with the handle towards the scalar ruler. Next, the bar is slowly rotated toward the head of the racket until it drops, at which time the bar is slowly rotated the opposite direction until the handle drops on the scale, which then provides a measurement. One point is equal to one eighth of an inch, which is measured from the reference mark that corresponds with the racket's length. As an example, the Babala Pure Arrow, which is 27 inches in length, is seven points head light at 32 centimeters unstrung. Swing weight is a measure of how heavy a racket feels when swinging to hit a ball. Said another way, swing weight measures how difficult a racket is to swing. With that in mind, a racket's weight and balance directly influence swing weight. To measure swing weight, a specialized machine such as the Babala Racket Diagnostic Center shown here is needed for consistency and accuracy. As a racket swing weight gets higher, its power and spin potential increase, while maneuverability in the shock felt in your hand and arm decrease. To better understand weight, balance, and swing weight, we can use a hammer as an analogy. We can weigh a hammer to get a static measurement of its weight. If you hold a hammer from the handle, you get a sense for a head heavy balance because its weight is distributed toward the head of the hammer. If you swing the hammer from the handle, you get a sense for its high swing weight. Using a hammer this way, it's harder to maneuver, but it has lots of power and very little shock is felt in your hand when striking an object. However, if we flip the hammer and hold it from the opposite end, the hammer becomes head light with most of the weight distributed toward your hand. Now, all of a sudden the hammer becomes easier to swing and maneuver, but it no longer delivers much power and you'd feel quite a bit of shock when striking an object. Here's a table that roughly outlines how to think about racket weight in reference to a player's skill level and power. Keep in mind that these are generalities, but should serve as a useful point of reference. Next up, here are a few examples of lightweight tennis rackets. To offset how light these rackets are, note their head heavy balance. Here's a selection of midweight tennis rackets where there tends to be quite a bit of variation. And here are a few heavier tennis rackets. To offset their higher weight, note their headlight balance. Last but not least, here's an example of how balance can be adjusted for different weight rackets, which results in nearly identical swing weights. 
Weight, balance, and swing weight are excellent specs for comparing rackets, and understanding their meaning is a great starting point. However, they're not terribly useful until you've experienced how a racket feels when playing tennis, which you can then use as a point of reference. If you already own a racket, I'd encourage you to look up its specs and use it as a baseline for comparison. If you don't own a racket, you can demo one or borrow a friend's and do the same. There's no better way to develop a feel and preference for weight, balance, and swing weight than through trial and error, which subsequently brings these specs to life. If you'd like to explore these topics further, I'd encourage you to check out my guide, which I've linked in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.